Another question with a set of hard words. This just goes to show vocabulary is an important part of this SAT. You do need to memorize some words, so get some flashcards and, and study, and hopefully when you encounter words, you can just look them up right away and start to memorize them. So let's take a look at this passage. In editor Lisa Yasik's introduction to her anthology, The Future is Female, More Classic Science Fiction Stories by Women, Yasik identifies an increasing sense of blank feminist mode of writing in the 1970s. So it's hard to even read what they're saying here. So point is, don't worry about it. We don't care about this person. We don't care about the book. We're just going to care about how to fill in the blank, and it's probably going to come later in the sentence. In contrast, okay, too many women authored science fiction stories in the 1920s, 1960s, who polit whose politics were less deliberately signaled. So we're contrasting with something being less deliberately signaled. So something here should be deliberately signaled, right? So this is very common we're going to do this kind of stealing. They do just sometimes give you the definition of the word, and now it's our job to be like, okay, well, what word means something is deliberately signaled? So prudently uh, or prudent just means something is wise or, or careful. Uh, it, it means like you're cautious, you think things through. So it just has nothing to do, maybe it does have to do with the sense of deliberate. If something is deliberate, it might be prudent. Uh, a sense, a uh, let's put that in the blank though. Yasif, Yasik identifies an increasing sense of a prudently feminist mode of writing in the 1970s. Well, that almost sounds like too, another word that kind of fits with, with prudent is cautious. So I, it just, it doesn't feel like the, the best fit here. It's maybe if you're doing something deliberately, you've thought it through. So there is that sense, but let's, let's keep going. I feel like that just not knowing that word prudent, it, it doesn't really fit very well overtly. So an increasing, uh, increasing sense of an overtly feminist mode of writing. So if something is overt, it's obvious, it's out there. It is done deliberately and it is done purposefully and to be known. So this is a good fit. This is literally just like the answer here. This is just what this means. But let's let's look at the other choices so you can learn some things. Um, cordially, so a cordially feminist mode of writing, that has nothing to do with anything. If something is cordial, it is polite. It is, um, you know, kind of proper. Uh, so that just has nothing to do with it. Um, you might have seen that word maybe on like a wedding invitation. I cordially invite you. It's just like a fancy way of saying, you know, please come to my wedding. Um, and inadvertent, this is actually kind of like maybe the opposite. So this is, this is maybe a bit of a trap. If something is inadvertent, it is done kind of like accidentally. So uh, maybe this is a good example of them trying to see if you're actually paying attention to the, the wording and the logic of the passage. Because notice, we, we want an opposite here, but the word less is kind of doing the job of the word not, right? It's kind of already making it an opposite. So when I stole that piece from the end, I just dropped the negative part, the, the word less, and I kept everything else. So what they're hoping maybe is you get confused by the the less, or maybe you ignore it, or, or just kind of just, it, it doesn't make any sense to you. And so you understand the idea of something being deliberate, and then you're trying to com uh, uh, contrast with that. And okay, the opposite of deliberate is something's accidental. And so D does make sense in that way. But um, that's, I think, what makes this question a bit harder. But yeah, B is the answer here because it literally is just the definition we're looking for. They gave us the definition in the passage. We do have some hard words. So if you got this wrong, you know, I understand. But notice how the SAT is trying to make questions hard, giving you hard words, but also kind of messing with the logic and structure of the passage. So two things we've got to watch out for on vocab questions.